Hey guys, it's Sophie Zomber here with another video. Um, happy Valentine's Day, first and foremost. Um, excuse the water trickling in the background. Um, it's very cold here, so we're making sure the pipes don't freeze and we're about to get a storm again. Um, but that's besides the point. Alright, so first and foremost, I hope all of you are having a wonderful Valentine's Day. Um, you know, it's a Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday, so you got one more day to relax um, after today, hopefully. Um, okay, so this is another episode of Let's Have a Talk, and I've been waiting to make this video for a long, long time. Um, I'm waiting to make this video, I'm so excited. Um, it's called, this is about um, something that I'm going to call the Aurora, the Aurora Community, which is... Um, shippers who support Ross and Laura together, which I so am, <laughs> I so am. So this is not talking about like why I'm a fan, this is me talking about the community that comes together. Um, how I thought this video was, I was on Facebook a few days ago and you know, I follow these like the teen um, magazine um, pages on Facebook and um, they were saying, do you think Ariana Grande and Ross Lynch would make a cute couple? And I went on the comments to come and no, because I don't think they would. Because, as I said, I'm a Aurora shipper. Um, but, half the comments were no, Aurora, or no, Ross and Laura. Like, half the comments. Like, there were, like, probably 20 comments, and probably more than half were about, were, like, no, Aurora. I just wrote no, but, like... Like, all the comments were like, no, Aurora, no, Ross and Laura, no, Ross and Laura are going to get together. So, that's how I came up with this, the idea of this video. Um, really, people who are on Instagram, go into your search box. Type in Aurora. There are, like, a bunch of Aurora accounts, including mine, Aurora Day One. Check it out. It has some other pictures on there, but that's only because I didn't feel like deleting all the pictures that I put on my account before. And it would take too much time but there are a couple of roar and Aussie pics on there um and then um but there are a lot of amazing Aurora pictures and then um a lot of people are hoping for Aurora um mostly this year just because Austin and Allie is ending this season and they're hoping <laughs> Ross will come to his senses and ask Laura out and many people are hoping Laura will get will come to her senses and stop friend zoning him like, she did that, like, yesterday, I believe. I, um, I went to go on your Google to just look at pictures, and I typed in her name. And then, um, before I went to images, they said Laura talks about Rora, and, you know, I had to click on it, and, um, she friend-zoned him, but didn't, if that makes sense. She said something about, like, oh, it's really sweet how the fans want us together, blah, 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 blah. Um, but that's about it. Um, let's see, what else? Roar shippers are strong. They are strong people. Like, legit strong people. They are really strong shippers. I mean, you know, some shippers of Roar, they hate Maya Mitchell, which I don't. I don't hate her. I think she's a wonderful actress and a wonderful person, but I just don't like her with Ross. Um, if she gets with Ross, I would be deeply disappointed that Roar's not happy, but I'm not gonna, like, I don't, like, hate her. I'm not gonna be, like, a lot of killer or whatever. Because, you know, I won't do that. I mean, if she gets together with Ross, I mean, that's great. But as far as I know, I think she has a boyfriend. I don't know though. Um, and can you guys help me with this? Can you, people keep talking about this, like, Andrew guy for, like, Laura or, like, with Laura. Who is this Andrew guy? Is, like, a guy she went to school with or a guy she worked with on um, Bad Hair Day, which was amazing last night. Um, comment if you watched it. I thought it was awesome. Um, and stuff, and then when they did the premiere of Bad Hair Day, um, wherever, like, I think it was, like, two days before it premiered, um, on the 13th, they had this, like, premiere thing, and Ross and Rainey and Kalen went, and, um, even though they all supported her in one interview, you can see Laura's taking it, and then Ross does this, like, really weird face in the background, and then they do this video by themselves, well, I mean, Rainey and Kalen are there, but Laura says, suddenly, and she's like, oh, it's Ross! She used with Ross Lynch or with Ross, and that's, like, so cute. You know? And then, I mean, I think they're toying with our emotions. 
because, I mean, how did you get feels? Even when it's like awesomely. I mean, really? I mean, this Roar community is so big and we're so tight knit around this, these two amazing people who have this chemistry that's just so perfect. Um, I thought this was a perfect video to make on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Didn't plan it that way though. Just happened to be that way. Um, and um, I know some people have probably asked, are they going to sell Valentine's Day together? Which probably not, but we can hope. I'll pick it up right now. Um, and yeah. Keys? Unless they're filming, but I think they're done filming. I could be wrong though. Um, so yeah. So. All we can hope is for you fellow Roar shippers, all we can hope is that they um, they get together. Um, because Ross said, Ross admitted to having a crush on her. And we think Laura has a crush on him because like whenever the cast says, like the cast or crew jokes, oh, Laura's on, Laura's on set, she gets like all awkward about it. And he thinks that's really cute. And that's like the first thing, you know. They start as friends and then they become a couple and more shipping will be awesome. Alright, so let me know what you guys think about Rora and no bashing Rora. I mean, if you don't like them, just say I don't like them. Just don't say, oh, they suck or whatever. Just say, don't like them and then move on. And if you like Rora, tell me what you like about them below in the comments. What I like about them is um, just they're so tight knit. And they're like that. So, yeah. Um, Alright. Happy Valentine's Day, guys.